So I decided to create this really classic pinup look today for you all, but I did use kind of a modern spin on it by doing a bright blue winged cat liner. Um, and I also used the majority of the products that came in my March Ipsy bag because I really did like the products that came in it. You got this bright blue indigo liner from Chella Cosmetics. There was a NYX Love & Rio palette in mine and then this Pixi uh, Flawless Beauty Primer was in there as well. And the only thing I didn't use was this Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals lipstick because it's more of a pinky coral shade and when I think pinup, I think a really bold red lip. So that is what I did. Um, and now I'm going to mention that I did not overdraw my lips. It is just the technique that I used that makes my lips look so big and so full. Um, I will explain that more later on in the video. But anyway, so if you guys want to see how I achieved this modern pinup look, um, I hope you guys keep on watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. First, I am starting off with Pixie's Flawless Beauty Primer. This gives a glow to the face. It's hydrating, and it also helps even skin tone because it does have a little bit of pigmentation to it. Then I'm using uh, L'Oreal's Miracle Blur just kind of on my areas where I have problems with pores. Then I am taking this eye brightener from Skin by Dimitri James. It's just a color corrector and I'm just going to pat that in on my under eyes. Then I'm taking my new favorite foundation which is Max Mineralize in the shade NC15. This is just so light on the skin and it just gives a beautiful kind of natural finish. It's not dewy and it's not matte. It's just very natural looking. And I am just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Then I decided I wanted to do a little bit of cream contouring, so I am taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 and taking that down the hollows of my cheeks and then along the sides of my nose as well. Then using the same side of the Beauty Blender that I used to blend out my foundation, I am just blending that in very well. Then around the edges of my face, I am using the CoverGirl and Olay Stick Concealer in the shade 330 Light, which is actually quite dark for me. Then I was going to just blend that out, but I decided I wanted to put a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer around the edges of my face as well. Then I just go in and blend all of that out with my Beauty Blender. As a side note, you really want to take your time blending in a cream contour just so it looks as natural as it possibly can. Then taking my Pro Longwear in the shade NC15, and I'm just going to use that to conceal and highlight all at the same time. It is completely perfect for that. And I'm just going to start by placing that under my eyes and really blending it out and shearing it out so it's not super heavy. This is a very high coverage concealer, so even when you make it very sheer, it still has a very full coverage. And then I'm just going to put that through the center of my face, so center of my forehead, center of my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Then because I didn't want to deposit any of the darker contour shades that I used on top of my lighter highlight shade, I just flipped my Beauty Blender over to the more pointed side and kind of using the edge of it to blend all of that out. Then per usual to set my face, I am using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in all of the areas that I applied the Pro Longwear Concealer and I am using my Real Techniques Setting Brush. Just pushing that 
into the skin to make sure not to disturb any of the makeup that is underneath. Then on my big powder brush, I am taking my Cody Airspun Loose Powder and I'm going to press that into the rest of my face. So then I'm just going to do some light contouring with my Hoola Bronzer and I am starting off with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush just to kind of lightly bronze up the perimeter of my face. Since I did do some cream contouring, I'm using this brush to kind of really just buff it out a little bit better and not make it such a harsh line around the perimeter. Then for the rest of my face, I am using the Real Techniques contour brush and going through the hollows of my cheeks. And I also take this down the sides of my nose as well. Then to just kind of give a natural flush to the cheeks, I am using the Benefit Rocketeur with my Real Techniques blush brush. I really do love this blush. I use it every day and it just looks so natural on my skin tone. Then I'm going to go in with the blush in Sweet Cheeks from Be A Bombshell Cosmetics just to give that really pinky flush that I tend to think of when I think of a pinup. This is a super pigmented blush also by the way so I did tap off a decent amount of the product and then I also took more of the product off on the back of my hand. Then to start off the eyes I'm first priming with the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. To start off the eyes, I'm going to pick up the lightest shade in this Love in Rio palette. It's called Voodoo Love Spells, and I also got this in my March Glam Bag. This is kind of a champagne-y taupe color, and I'm just applying that all over the lid with my ring finger. Then for my liner, I'm also using another product I got in my March Glam Bag. This is the Chella Liquid Eyeliner Pen in the shade Indigo Blue. And this is a super blue eyeliner with a super thin felt tip. And it is actually a little bit difficult to work with because I think it is so thin and so long. Or maybe it's just because I am so used to using my Kat Von D liquid liner, which is just super easy to use. I am just going in and lightly drawing in my flick before I commit to anything. And this felt tip pen does seem to pick up powder products and dry the tip out. So I did have to wipe it off a few times. Then I am using my Rimmel Scandalize pencil in Nude just to line my waterline. Then dipping back into my Love in Rio palette, I am using the brown shade in there and I'm going to start to define my crease with that. I opted to do my eyeliner first because I didn't want any eyeshadow below the eyeliner line, so this is just an easier way for me to do that. I'm using a couple different fluffy brushes to just really buff out that color and make it very blended so it's more of a shadow than actual color. Then because I noticed that my liquid liner was super patchy in some places, I went in with this very blue um, eyeshadow from Black Heart Beauty and just with an angled brush went over the liner to kind of set it also and just fill in those patchy areas.
I liked the effect that this ended up having. It gave more intensity and pigmentation to the blue eyeliner. I think looking at it once I had the blue eyeshadow on top, you can definitely see a difference in each eye. Then dipping into that brown with my Real Techniques accent brush, I am just going to smudge that along my lower lash line to create a little bit of balance. I don't really like when there's nothing on the lower lash line. Then with my Real Techniques shading brush, I am going to place the matte gray color on the outer portion of my crease, so only bringing it about halfway in. I actually found these NYX shadows to be a little bit difficult for me to blend. I think I ended up using three different brushes to create the look that I wanted and I don't think I really ever had that problem. It might just because they're matte shadows, but even using other matte shadows, I haven't really had this much difficulty trying to blend them out. Then I just ran a little bit of that gray on my lower lash line as well, just on the outer corner. Then I picked up a little bit of the lighter highlight kind of shade and ran that under my brow bone a bit, just on a fluffy brush to just add a little bit of color. Then for mascara today, I used the Benefit They're Real, and I just have a sample size of it right now. And I just applied one coat of that to top and bottom lash line. Then over top of that, I went in with BH Cosmetics Lovable Lash Mascara and just applied one good coat of that to top and bottom lashes as well. Then to start my lips, I am first going in with number 7's lip liner in the shade Fire, which is more of an orangey toned red. As you can see, I'm not overdrawing my lips. I don't really ever overdraw my lips. I think I have full enough lips without having to overdraw them, but I am going ahead and filling in both top and bottom lip completely with the lip liner. Then for my lipstick, I am first going to take MAC's Fixed on Drama Lipstick, which is a matte lipstick, and it's more of a brick red, and I'm just going to apply that to the corners of my lips, and I'm going to slightly bring it in on the very bottom edge of my lower lip. Then I'm going to take a lip brush and kind of blend that into the lip liner. As you can see, I am making sure to keep that darker color off of the center of my lips. Then I am going in with the Lancome Rouge and Love lipstick in number 181, which is just a true red, and it's a blue-based red. And I am just going to apply that to the center of my lips. This has like a satin finish, so it does kind of have a glossy sheen to it without having to wear a lip gloss over top. Then I'm going to go back with my lip brush and blend my edges. Then I'm going to pick up another brush with a little bit of powder on it to kind of set around the edges of my mouth, but also clean up any stray, messy lines I may have created with my lip brush as I was blending my two colors together. And as you can see, my lips already do look fuller just by using those two colors, but I'm going back in with the darker color just to re-intensify that outer edge. You're really playing a trick on the eyes by doing this, and it just makes the lips look so much fuller. You could add a gloss if you want to, but I'm not going to. And with that, that finishes this modern pinup look. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.